Text, Chafee College, Wignall Museum of Contemporary Art, Home Edition, AIGA presents Thomas Hamdani, May 14, 2021 from 5, 6 p.m. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us at today's program featuring designer and artist Thomas Hamdani, presented as part of the Wignall Museum's Home Edition. Home Edition is a series of curated artist talks, workshops, and discussions featuring artists and cultural workers. My name is Rebecca Trawick, and I serve as the director and curator of the Wignall Museum. The Wignall Museum is a teaching museum, an interdisciplinary art space that introduces Chafee College students, faculty, staff, and community members to innovative contemporary art objects and ideas. By fostering critical thinking, visual literacy, discourse, and empathy, the museum seeks to enhance the intellectual and cultural life of our community. Today's episode is brought to you in part by the Chafee College Student AIGA chapter. The chapter are dedicated, are a group of dedicated designers that provide a space to create, connect, and inspire. AIGA offers aspiring professionals the opportunity to get involved, create community, and build leadership skills. While the academic year is almost complete, the chapter is always seeking designers, photographers, and illustrators. So big thanks to the club and shout out to all of you who are here this evening. We wanna take a moment to recognize that we are situated on the Rancho Cucamonga campus of Chafee College, which resides on the traditional and unceded lands of the Tongva people. We offer our recognition and respect to the elders, both past, present, and future. Split screen with six people. And hello, my name is Roman Stollenwerk. I'm assistant curator at the Wigmore Museum. Please visit us at www.chafee.edu slash Wignall to access our full schedule of programs and available recordings. When possible, recordings are made available on our website. Announcements post to our email subscribers and social media when new videos are available. All recordings on our site include captions and audio descriptions as options. You can follow us on social media, including Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Wignall Museum. Visit our website about us page to sign up to receive email announcements. And we also ask that after this session, you complete a brief survey at tinyurl.com slash Wignall Spring 21 Visitor Survey. Thank you. And hello everyone, my name is Andy Hadel. I'm the preparator at the museum. In a few moments, Thomas Hamdani will present for about 30 minutes or so with the remaining time being available for Q and A. Thanks Roman, thanks Andy. So I have the pleasure of introducing our guest artist, Thomas Hamdani. Born in Indonesia, Thomas Hamdani completed a bachelor's degree in graphic design at Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. Uh, I should also mention Hamdani is an alumni of Chafee College. Yay, so glad to have him back here. Hamdani is a motion designer with 10 plus years of motion design and 3D experience in the industry. He's always been fascinated by technology, especially growing up with sci-fi movies. Currently, he works remotely on different motions and virtual reality projects around the US. So please join me in giving Thomas a warm virtual welcome. Thomas Hamdani, motion artist. My name is uh, Thomas Hamdani. I am a motion design artist um, for uh, 10 plus years. Uh, I've been in the industry for um, from mostly in technology field and Uh, I graduated in Art Center around about 15 years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. And uh, it's been, been a long journey to learn being an artist, to learn uh, to create stuff and to not be boring, to be always in the cutting edge of design. It's a, it's a long process, a, a, a lot things you need to keep learning. Uh, it's, it's a very fun, fun journey <laughs> for 15 years. And um, I was born in Indonesia. Uh, so this is what my culture is. It's a mixture between uh, like the West and the East. Collage features Indonesia currency, skyline, um, tourist bureau brochure. We have uh, many, many different uh, influence from uh, many uh, different culture. 
because Indonesia is a support city that are in uh, very important um, for the trading uh, in uh, West between Europe and and China. So uh, Indonesia has become a, a always a hub of many different culture. So we have many different influences uh, from from many different uh, like huge culture like like um, uh, Hinduism and Buddhism and now they are the uh, the biggest Islamic country outside uh, Middle East. So it's many, many, very, very diverse. Uh, growing up in Indonesia is it's it's somewhat tough because uh, being an ethnic Chinese, uh, we are kind of always looked down. And um, but but we learn how to fight it. <laughs> We learn to how to be strong, and 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 prosper in the in the long run in Indonesia too. And uh, my family is is from a business 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 family that always think about revenues and uh, transaction. So growing up uh, as, as an artist, artistic person is very hard um, because uh, nobody understand you and, <laughs> uh, and uh, they think art is just is just like a business tool that to to advertise or to to create stuff, but not really just a career. So uh, this is me when I was uh, a baby. <laughs> And with my, my dad, brand new Vespa, beautiful stuff. <laughs> Beside a white Vespa, a woman holds a baby. Uh, and it's a beautiful country. It's a lot of uh, different uh, like technology uh, development and, and nature. Two futuristic robotic figures stand in fighting pose. So this is all my biggest uh, inspiration when I was growing up. Uh, like this is what shaped me as a designer. Uh, like the early version of just human wearing masks, <laughs> but showing the future. Like how robot is looking, how it, how the the world is can be different in the future. So, and this is from uh, the Japanese side, the Japanese uh, influences. This is what I mostly what I watch when I was a kid, and uh, superheroes, magical cat from the future. Uh, or just robots transforming or and Dragon Ball Z, if you guys know. <laughs> Robocop suit schematic, Ghostbusters uh, logo, Knight Rider car. And, um, and Indonesian TV too. There's a lot of American movies. That's where I learned my English, where I learned my slang, like, uh, what's up, man? And, uh, and I learned about space. I learned about the future. I learned about time travel, uh, talking robots, or talking robot cars, sorry. And uh, how ghosts is captured in this modern world. Uh, this is what influenced me the most too, while like uh, every day, just be because being an ethnic Chinese, it's even hard just for me to go outside because uh, sometimes other kids will pick on me because I'm different. So mostly I just stay indoors, uh, watching TV, reading comic books, uh, just surrounded by these new ideas constantly, uh, what the world is going to be or 
going to be like in an interesting way. American flag patch, California postcard. In the 90s, we moved to America uh, because my uncle lived in Pomona. So my mom decided to move to Rancho Cucamonga because we love Mont Baldy, our beautiful mountain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we just we just fell in love with the landscape. We fell in love with uh, just the nature of it because we grow up from the city. Is we don't see any any mountains. We don't see anything. Everything is flatland, um, tropical world. But Mount Baldy kind of open up my my eyes. It's such beauty. San Bernardino postcard, Chafee College pennant flag. Uh, uh, I went to Altoloma High School. It's pretty weird in the beginning because uh, only few Asian there, or and uh, only and couple Indonesian actually. Uh, so I grew up uh, with just many different friends, uh, learning different cultures. And uh, and the most interesting too is in Altaloma High School is meeting people, exchange students, uh, especially people from uh, Russia or uh, Europe, and then become friends and and learning about the local culture. Uh, really like a melting pots of of cultures, uh, how America is, and I learned a lot just being myself, being accepting my Chinese side, and then and actually I'm trying to embrace it because before uh, it's it's not okay being Chinese in Indonesia because uh, the government tried to integrate all the Chinese, so we we learn just stay quiet uh, for in our culture, not really saying anything or try to just uh, become like Indonesian. But in, in America, I learned to be more embracing my, my Chinese side, learning about more Chinese actually, about Chinese philosophy because, because I'm going uh, to Otaloma, just getting, reading books from the public library, uh, really like open up my, my world growing up in America and Rancho Cucamonga, especially. Building lit from the inside at night, um, Art Center College of Design. I went to Art Center because uh, my, my good teacher from Chaffee College, Ian White, he told me, uh, man, you're good. You should go to Art Center College of Design. I'm like, I never heard it. What is that? And then, oh yeah, it's a famous school. In design because uh, you are pretty good. So I went, apply, and I got accepted in Art Center College of Design in early in the dot com era. <laughs> My journey in, in, in Art Center is, is very interesting and it's very a lot of learning experience because. What I learned primarily in Art Center is discipline yourself, how be to become an artist, and how to discipline yourself to be a hard worker uh, in your craft. Because uh, design ain't easy. Design is a lot of things you need to know, a lot of things you need to uh, learn. Because design is a language that you learn a dip, a language that you learn to mix. You need to understand many different facets of um, the world to understand what to design. I hope I, you guys understand what I mean. Uh, it's just design is kind of like a being a chef. So uh, if, if they want you to, for example, to cook like Middle Eastern uh, cooking, you need to know everything about Middle East, it, Middle Eastern culture, Middle Eastern 
uh, spices and uh, try to mix it up together and to find the essence of the diamond. <laughs> Blue text against a white background, Nokia, connecting people. After, after Art Center, uh, my first job in uh, Nokia design. I say a lot of design work, by the way, guys. <laughs> uh, in Nokia design, I was um, learning to mix technology and just fun before um, I don't know anything about uh, cell phone industry, but Nokia really like pushed me uh, to, to learn to design for human interface, uh, the UI design and how a uh, hum, uh, human in, interact with in, uh, UI or interact with, with the technology. So we are the, 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 the bridge that, that really connecting people between technology and, and people. So in Nokia design, um, uh, what I do is, um, designing wallpaper, uh, UI design, uh, some advertising. Uh, it's a many different different uh, hats I need to wear just to to create all what what the, the client wants. Two dandelion flowers bathed in red lighting. So this is some example of some of the wallpaper that I designed for uh, Nokia. Presses play, animation begins. Seeds blow off dandelion and fly into a blue sky. Dandelion stem transforms into pole of wind turbine whose blades spin. A winged insect flies toward a dandelion in red lighting. It lands on the flower seed head. The tips of the seeds illuminate. Nearby, cattail plants which stand out of water wave gently back and forth as fireflies hover above. Koi fish swim beneath large green lily pads. A red and purple flame-like shape rises from the water and transforms into a butterfly. White text on a black background. Nokia. Okay, that's that is some of the overall work, like the best work that I capture when I was there for um, about seven years before Nokia uh, move on to a, a different company. <laughs> Uh, this is some of the advertising that I created uh, for uh, Nokia X10. Presses play and animation begins. A metallic shapeless figure scatters into several pieces then flows back together into one blob. The blob transforms into the shape of a cellular device. A purple light shines on components of the device which fly in layers. The layers come together and a cell screen shows video of a man who kayaks through rough waters. Uh, this is where I learned most to do 3D and uh, how integrating with motion design uh, to create all this interface and um, the special effects. All right, after Nokia, uh, I started to be a full-time freelancer and I work in uh, many different studios and uh, mostly uh, doing um, Maya, this 3D program for Maya, doing uh, 3D animation and and doing After Effects stuff, uh, creating special effects and creating uh, just infographics for for different companies. Uh, this is for my work. Animation begins. A robotic figure stands under a starry purple night sky. White lasers shoot out of its eyes and destroys a building which the robot towers over. View extends backward and shows robot in a bubble above text. Thomas Hamdani, Motion Design. A castle surrounded by green trees and mountains. A small cartoonish figure with a bright ball of light. The figure stands on a doll pedestal inside the castle with another character who wears a witch's hat and a long white beard. 
flame-like object rises and transforms into a butterfly, a winged insect flies toward a dandelion in red lighting, it lands on the flower seed head which illuminates, nearby, cattail plants which stand out of water wave gently back and forth, koi fish swim beneath large green lily pads, silhouette of a train that rolls on tracks with a silhouetted city skyline in the background beneath an orange sky, a 3D box rotates which reads think about it on one side, the box unfolds and shows a semi-truck and the word promise, paper folds into itself, text reads, SAP. Purple light shines on components of a cellular device which fly in layers, layers come together and a cell screen shows video of a man who kayaks through rough waters. Boy stands with bicycle and watches black smoke rise from the city below, his head enveloped in a straw-like material, he rides on bike toward a dark tunnel. Orange cat-like creature holds a small white animal in its mouth, man who wears traditional dress waves swords in air as he traverses illuminated orange grid flooring. Several separate icons of social media and messaging apps disperse from the united rectangular shape, they fly through the air and pass a woman who smiles toward her phone, icons float toward a man and gather in the shape of a telephone then the shape of a map marker, Microsoft Surface, click in. Small metallic figures surrounded by red robots, robots slam down hammers on figure and components fly off, a hairy primate creature with elf-like ears howls from a mountain where grass sways with the wind, bats fly above, text, thanks for watching. All right, that's uh, my early work um, a couple years ago uh, before I moved uh, work for um, San Manuel Casino uh, because San Manuel is uh, developably growing super fast uh, during this like the last four years. So uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I got an opportunity to work with someone in El Casino for, for a couple of years. And it's, it's a different experience uh, because, because it's more uh, not just doing TV work or web work, it's doing how designing the whole casino, designing the whole interface, the whole, it's not just only one screen anymore. I learned how to design with the space. Uh, like, uh, for example, um, some of the um, design in the hallway or some of the design around the casino, the screens, how, how really now I'm working a different scale before I was working in just for phone scale, like you can handle, uh, you can see it with you just a tiny screen in Nokia screen. Uh, and then after Nokia, I work in the agency. So mostly I'm, I'm just doing just, just uh, like advertising for TV or, uh, but in, in the casino it's, it's, it's very, very different scale. So I, I, I work just to, to see how to engage people uh, around the environment. So this is one of the work with Samuel Casino for Chinese New Year. Animation begins, bright sunset over mountains, lanterns shine in the night sky, fireworks explode over a city with Asian architecture, a dog with flowers on its fur stands atop a mountain surrounded by booming fireworks. The dog appears in the center of golden colored lettering against a red background, Happy Lunar New Year, 2018 year of the dog all thrill san manuel casino uh yeah the, after the, after i beat this uh they uh, implemented around the casino they uh, implemented around um uh around when the when the chinese winter happens uh, they they start playing all over the casino so it's, it's just uh, um uh the way i create the story is is how uh we always transcended a journey um but uh, from um, just from the, it's like it's like a how the dragon travel, so so you moving from the ground, from this tunnel, from the landscape, and then you move up to the sky, and and just creating new opportunity uh, for the new year. <laughs> uh, that's my idea. All right. All right, this is uh, some of the work that I did for uh, Rock and Brew. 
the restaurant inside the uh, Samuel Casino. So, um, Presses play, 3D lettering which reads Legends disappears, a red curtain opens, faceless characters play acoustic guitars on a stage. Characters drop through holes and reappear with black hair and electric guitars. Drop through holes again and rise with gold chains and microphones. Red curtain closes. Text, design, and animation. Thomas Hamdani. Uh, the, my idea is, uh, to, of the concept of this uh, piece is um, how music evolves and is 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 progressing to many different eras and is changing and always uh, in constant, always moving, always changing, or sometimes move back. Sometimes move forward. So I think this is the idea of, of what I'm trying to convey. Uh, how from the Beatles, uh, and then it's, it's moving to evolving to this rock music and band group, and then and evolving to um, to hip hop. Uh, this is a piece that I created for uh, for the promotion of this this machine uh, around the casino, Dollar Swarm. Against a night sky where rain falls and lightning strikes, lettering reads Dollar Storm. A lightning bolt strikes through the S and Storm. 3D text starts large and becomes smaller. Exclusivity at San Manuel Casino. Text turns white against a black background. Dreamcatcher logo has five feathers which hang down and bow arrows in the middle. All right, this is uh, one of the example. Uh, me and uh, me, and my coworker David, uh, we created uh, this this look this um, for uh, Las Vegas uh, promo. Flash. Presses play. Above retail shops and restaurants beside Hollywood Casino, a gigantic curved sign lights up in the night. Video footage on sign shows a man in a suit at a casino table with chips and playing cards. He rises from his seat and a ring of light expands away from him. Text on sign, most thrilling casino on the west coast. Thank you for an awesome 2018. Man in suit surrounded by bright lights at card table. Text, all thrill. Bright white crystal shapes fill the screen. Text. Next year San Manuel Casino. A woman in a white flowy dress runs down a bright platform barefoot. Uh, this is uh, the display that we created um, on the elevator while, you know, uh, the, um, the people walk, walk to the, from the second floor to the first floor. So it's, it's like this, this journey again. Set above an escalator, an image in the shape of a diamond features various patterns and tessellations. The patterns move from the center outward, with a center resembling a sky with alternating white fluffy clouds or bright stars. Dream catchers spin with the animation. And this is uh, one of the screens that are around the casino. Presses play. Large 3D number sevens float about. Text appears. Club Serrano. Sign up today. Three different cards reads Club Serrano. One black, one green, and one red. Black card enlarges until it takes up the entire screen. Lanes of bright light appear against blackness. Casino chips float amongst a running bear. So in this, the bear is representing just... Just the local animals uh, around San Bernardino. 
The screen of a slot machine with five columns of rolling symbols appears then retreats backward. Several slot machine screens appear and begin to float back. A white play symbol in the center of a red circle, text appears, play online, big wins, big thrills, anytime. Large 3D number sevens. Uh, now, um, in, in Samuel Casino, they, they, they let me to explore many different uh, medium. So uh, I choose virtual reality because it's, it's, you can see the whole world inside your, your head. <laughs> That's why I, I choose this medium. Yeah, this is, I created for the vault. YouTube video titled The Vault Gaming and Provisions. It's the idea of uh, steampunk, how, how old technology and the new technology merge in the Steam uh, restaurant. So we you you do a lot of gears, a lot of, a lot of uh, shutter opening and metals and dimensional elements to create this this world of gears and moving. Several gold colored gears create a circular shape. Gold pointed plates move in a circular pattern. So this project. Uh, took me around three months to finish it because uh, we we need to start experimenting with um, how the screen works around the casino, how the, um, how VR work, and then and we model everything and and grab some of the the screenshot from from the, um, the concept design way before the, the restaurant is done to, to create this look. A ball shape loses its shell to reveal a stylized gold V in the middle. Text, the vault, gaming and provisions at San Manuel Casino. It's a fun project. Let me try this one again. Presses play, Thomas Hamdani Real VR. Okay, this is my real. Mostly the work that I did in gold mechanical components including gears and plates moved behind vault doors, silver lettering against a black sky with purple spots of light, real Thomas Hamdani. So if you guess in your own time and check it out, you can see all the 3D space, the, all the detail that we work on. Um, Heard of running 3D bison beneath a purple and blue sky. And so we need to build around this camera so everything need to be built to be created and then we animate it in different layers and then and then just just trying to experiment merging merge it many with the gears on uh, with the flaps uh, gold mechanical components fly in a night sky a large disc shape holds an object in the middle which rotates. Inside, a ball loses its shell and reveals a stylized gold V. Text, The Vault, Gaming and Provisions at San Manuel Casino. And the bear is back. A 3D bear runs through gold square shapes which have circular cutouts in the center. Text, All Thrill. And this is for the Chinese New Year, uh, for the year of the pig. So we created this world. And some of the more casino elements again. Bright golden colored crystal shapes atop gold mechanical components, light of the moon in a night sky. Animation enters the mouth of an animal where a disc spins featuring a tribal symbol in the middle. Uh, now for for my own personal project just just project with uh, idea that i got for my kids uh how we want to create this this 
uh, world and colony, how if animals have evolved and living in space. So it's just a fun project that I, uh, during COVID, when, when I got more free time uh, to create my own, my own work. Space suit rendering. So uh, this is the first idea we just sketch up, sketch some ideas how, with, this is my daughter drawings, how she, she said she want to create cats and dogs, how they live in space. So I started with like, with monkeys and then rabbits and some some kittens, uh, how they wearing suits. So this is my first design, uh, just creating the suits uh, using um, Fusion 360 uh, CAD software to create this, this helmet. And then uh, this is from my idea of the monkey in space. So um, presses play. A figure inside a space suit with monkey on a name tag. It runs and flails its arms inside a spinning cylinder shape. Yes, this is how I guess he just trend, uh, moving uh, from a different uh, space works. <laughs> so I began to, after that, uh, I got an idea. How come just maybe create the whole space colony, how they look. So uh, I, I incorporated uh, maybe um, a coconut tree you know, uh, to, to generate all this, this power to, to create uh, all the power uh, to power the whole uh, space station. And, and after I go big, after I go visual the whole space station, I go to the just doing more fun switches and dials uh, how how the animal is gonna interact with the with the uh, controlling the space station, and then I also create this device. Uh, if they uh, exploring many different planets, <laughs> so if if they take samples, you know, uh, or uh, measuring. Uh, the other alien worlds. So uh, this is some of the animation I did. It's walking, exploring other alien world. <laughs> Monkey in space suit walks in places land beneath him moves. Yeah, I, I think that's my presentation. Thank you for, for listening. <laughs> Split screen with seven people. Wow, thanks, Thomas. That was so fun. And I, you probably haven't had a chance to see, but you should know the um, chat has been blowing up. So oh, wow. uh, we'll have to send you the transcript so you can check it out. You've been getting lots of kudos and um, compliments. So oh, cool. So, um, so we'd love to open it up to questions. So how does the rule, oops, sorry, how does the rule of thirds apply to backgrounds or characters? Oh, wow. That's very, very, very technical question. <laughs> I need to dig up my design book. Uh, lower thirds. Uh, what's the question again? Could you repeat it? <laughs> uh, how does the rule of thirds apply to backgrounds or characters? Uh, it's, it's, I think it de depends on how how is the the design is it's it's really tough uh, what you're asking for uh it's basically it's it just came with experience and uh how you you see uh, you you design i think it's 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 just very very dynamic or yeah it's uh, i need to think about that <laughs> Um, we have another question from Trevin here. Uh, besides Dragon Ball, what other Eastern shows inspired you? I, my big, big uh, inspiration, uh, of, of course, is Akira. That is one of the biggest cha game changer uh, in the movie industry. Um, the way it's, uh, the way it's tell the story, the way it's um, animated, 
and the way is the character design. I think it's that movie Akira really moved the, the design forward. It's like uh, inspired the Matrix, inspired uh, even Cyberpunk 2077. So Akira is one of my big, big inspiration. You had mentioned in the beginning of your uh, presentation that uh, being a working artist and designer, like uh, education is ongoing, you know, that you have to, it, uh, as you move through your career, you're always kind of learning new things. Uh, what, what does that education for you look like? Is it uh, kind of experience-based? Are you, are you continuing education kind of formally or is it more of an informal? Um, Mostly it's an education in uh, how, you know, how the, the technology always like moving forward so fast. And uh, like technically uh, you need to keep learning because uh, the software evolving so fast and how uh, the platform, um, social media platform or um, it's just moving fast. You, you need to really keep learning and keep uh, try to to learn different new things because um, if if not they they just gonna pass you by. It's it's a fast moving world <laughs> now, guys. <laughs> Here's one from Cabrina uh, with Manuel Casino giving you freedom to explore different outlets. Is VR your preferred type of execution now, and is it hard to execute or something uh, or similar to learning a new software? VR, it's um, it's a very new platform, and then a lot of things you need you need to know. Not just only the the, the software side or uh, technology side. It's just how you engage the viewer, how you because it's not just one view. It's it's the whole view, the whole three sixty. You need to to point or you need to uh, to know where is the action is at. It, it's, it's, it's very complex. I'm, I'm, I'm still learning too. And uh, I hope I'm, uh, I will be learning more complex gaming using gaming engine. So it's, it's real time. Thomas, can I ask a follow up too? So um, doing that kind of those that scale or the uh, the scale of projects that you're doing for the casino, are those often, are those usually team projects or are you working individually for the most part? Uh, mostly uh, two or three people, me, my, my, my other motion designer, uh, David or, or, or Ed, we really, really, we just three people. Sometimes we just go to the site, check it out, how it's gonna look or we can sometimes because because we are got access straight to the casino, inter, uh, all the monitors, all the, the displays, so we can test it during the night. We can see how how is the image too big, how the action is not enough, or is it need more uh, the type information. So it's it's more hands on because we got straight access to the, the technology and we got straight access to the the screens. So it's, it's make us more, uh, our life is more easier than if you're working for other companies, you just wait for them. Oh, is it gonna look good? Or, you know, it, it's very hands-on. I have question uh, at the beginning, you, I'm, um, so my, I'm, I also, I'm also from Chefi and I'm from Russia originally. So like ha ha having my uh, cultural, background sometimes it's difficult to live in in us and and be culturally engaged with us because i also feel like i have to be culturally engaged with russia do you have any advice in terms of for people who have a multiple cultural identities how to stay engaged with more than one thing uh, that's, that's a good question that's uh yes that's really uh, you need to embrace it. You need to embrace uh, both culture. Uh, you need to embrace, uh, especially you, your own culture. I think once you live outside 
your own culture, you become knowledgeable. You you want to know what is what is the essence of your own culture. Before, when I was living in Indonesia, I don't really care. It's just uh, like a boring uh, Indonesian stuff, you know, like uh, you know, like how what old people see, you know. But once you live outside, you really appreciate it. You really see what 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 make your own culture very beautiful. You it's like uh, uh, from looking from the outside, far away, you know, like uh, like an astronaut looking at back at Earth. You know how how beautiful is it? You know. <laughs> yeah, it's that um, phrase about the fish in the water. As closer you are to something, as less you see. So me going away from Ru Russia, I learn more about Russia being in US, which is kind of sounds yeah. funny, but that's the reality I ex experience too, by going away, I, I see a, a bigger picture, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's, Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, Thomas, we have another question in the chat um, from Cabrina. What is advice you could give to students at Chafee that you wish you knew when you went to community college? Learn how to communicate really well, because uh, uh, in my career, I've been struggling a lot, especially I have a second language, have an accent. And it's uh, with, with design, you will learn with experience, but communication it's, it's uh, I think it's a different level of, of realizing you, yourself. It's, you need to really learn how to speak, present yourself, uh, how especially presenting your idea. And it's, it's mostly it's tough for many designers uh, because we are more visual. We are more uh, just pictures. We try to create pictures and we, we, we sometimes we under, don't understand words. So. Yeah, presenting is, guys, number one. <laughs> You've sort of touched on this a little bit, but can you talk about what it's like to freelance? Like, what are the challenges? I'm sure there's a lot of advantages, but what are the unique challenges to working um, independently and remotely? I mean, I, I know the whole world has been experiencing this or much of the world for some, you know, recent past, but, you know, in terms of your career, like you're often working remotely. So what, what are some challenges that you've found and some great things about it? Let's start with the great thing. So, you know, I don't wanna, all right. The great thing is uh, you are, you got many different fresh projects. You are, uh, so you don't, not doing just only one thing. You're not only doing one, Thing, repeating the same thing over and over again. Uh, freelancing is kind of always learning. You always, you got a new exciting stuff to do, to learn. Um, that's the fun part, being a freelancer. Um, just, just creating new fun projects and sometimes boring, sometimes not interesting, but, but in the, but what you learn is, is uh, more you learn in freelancing. Um, as for sometimes the bad side is just when it's the downturn, it, it's really hard to find new projects because uh, usually some companies close or uh, you, know, you just need to get ready. You, know, you need to prepare when and usually downturn happen especially when it uh, happened to me in 2012, 2010 to 2012. Uh, it's, it's pretty tough um, to find a new project because everything is just closed. Everything is just, um, the opportunities, just everything is, you know, they're not looking. Uh, so learn how just to survive. <laughs> Uh, try to learn how to uh, save more money, you know, like uh, it's, it's, it's sometimes tough, but, but most of the time it's, it's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty, uh, pretty challenging to sometimes. 
especially with tough clients. Good advice about saving your money when you're working on a project basis, right? You don't know when the next paycheck might be coming. That's important. Yeah, don't buy stuff, guys. Just don't buy stuff you don't need. Like that, I guess. <laughs> Good advice for the future. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I feel like we could chat for another hour, but I want to be um, conscious of, of time, your time and everyone's time. And um, sadly, we're nearing the end of our time together. Um, but Thomas, I really want to thank you for your generosity today. It was wonderful to spend time with you this afternoon. Um, huge thanks to all of you who attended today and, and huge thanks to the a AIGA chapter. So again, if you're interested in learning more about them, check out those links in the chat. And I know Roman's putting a few other links in the chat um, right now, including a very short survey that we'd appreciate if you take two minutes to complete. Um, but thanks, everybody. Um, please take care. And again, thanks, Thomas. Thank you, guys. Check out Thomas's website. Text, Wignall Museum of Contemporary Art, Thomas Hamdani, www.singomatic.com, at Singlebot. Chafee College, Wignall Museum of Contemporary Art, Home Edition.